Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Like 32 wide and it's going to lay, weigh less than 150. Okay, so what are we working on? Okay, we got kitchen cabinets. We have a swinging door they want. It's um, approximately eight foot six tall, 32 inches wide, and it weighs less than 150 pounds. And they don't want to see the hinge, of course. They just want it to disappear in the wall of cabinets. So the only thing I can come up with with all my research is that bomber, was it 7801 or something? 7801, yeah. Unless you got other ideas for me. Well, double acting self-closing. Um, yeah. Double act, so the, to do exactly what they've asked for can yeah. be done. Okay. Um, so there's either have it working towards exactly what you've, has been requested of you, and that cost will certainly exceed $1,000 for the hardware alone. Um, or maybe not, but it will still be several hundreds of dollars more than the bomber that you've looked at. Or you go with the bomber, which is an elegant solution. The downside of that is you do see the plates on the bottom of the door. Right, and I see there's one that I can pa paint. There's one that's primed or something to paint. Yeah, you can definitely buy, buy those plates made of steel uh, that will have a prime coat on them. And I did the, your vi video where it makes that clunking noise. Uh-huh. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hardware, uh, yeah. Hardware makes a noise, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and it's that's really unusual noise. how sensitive people are to hardware making sounds. Um, I've only really um, experienced it when people want to find a problem outside of the original design. <laughs> Right. Um, but yeah, you're going to have a you know it's a, you, know, you got parts moving against each other. It's you sure. know if you want to drive from here to work, you're going to have to get in your car in order to you know get in your car. It's going to make some noises. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I, I, well, I, I I need one that brings it back to zero too. Yeah. You know, so self-centering. Yeah. Yes. So. so if you're going to go with the double acting bomber idea, you don't want an O1 because that's far too insufficient for your door weight. You'd be okay, looking yeah, I just, at. I got your, I got your website up here, and that's the first thing that come up. Yeah, yeah, but you're but you're in the right family, um, no doubt. Uh, you would want a 7814 um, HD, and um, that will not hold open. Right, and, I'm never aware of that. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so that would, you know, that would solve the problem in terms of meeting the functional requirement of the door. There will be a sound right. and it's not concealed. The concealed ideas would get into overhead concealed hydraulic uh closers or a floor mounted hydraulic closer, both of which right. you can exert lots of energy to really conceal if you want. Um it's going to be there, installed on on hard hardwood flooring. So mm -hmm. I think some of those get put into cement or something, don't they? Well, that's true. I mean, I've had people install the floor closers. They've built a box underneath, and yeah, you're supposed to pour concrete around them. You know, that's that's right. how those are installed. They're not screwed down. At mm -hmm. the same time, you're looking at a model that is. You know, you are asking a floor closer to carry a near insignificant amount of weight in terms of what they're capable of carrying. And I've had people mm -hmm. literally create a box using structural lumber like timber strand and sure. secure it down to there and didn't make any sounds. Works great. Has always worked for 20 years, that kind of stuff. So it's an option. Um, but you've really, really got to be intent on not seeing any hardware. Okay. But don't uh, I mean I've looked at some and we're getting into like a thousand bucks. 
You would be, yeah, sure. I mean, the lighter duty ones are less expen- in the less expensive range, considering that floor closers like that. I've gone from, you know, seven, eight hundred dollar versions, and dormas are going to be in that range too, all the way up to ones that are well more than double or triple the cost, depending on the door weight. You got to really ask your client. Listen, how severe do you want to go with this? Um, because if you can get underneath that floor, you could get an extended spindle and just drill a hole through your hardwood flooring so the spindle can come up. And, man, you're not Mm -hmm. going to see nothing. The problem is you're going to have to really engineer how you're going to not only attach the closer body to to your structure, but how you will take it out should you ever need to do so. Right. There's a a basement, but my luck would be there's a floor joist right there where it needs to go. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Yep. Um, Now, this is on a pantry door they're going to be going in and out of you know during the day and night um my theory was just to go with the less expensive bomb bomb or but i have one drawback these doors all my doors are going to be like the inset style where there's only uh like a 16th of an inch gap all the way around the door uh-huh. and then when i printed out the instructions for this thing it requires a fourth of an inch gap if you're going to leave it square, Ed, sure. If you're going to leave it square, it says on the instructions to leave, you know, to do an inch and a half radius on the back of the door, and then yeah, you, still you, keep it an inch and a, or still keep it a fourth of an inch away from it. No, definitely not. Uh-uh. You radius okay. that door, Ed. You're going to be able to suck it up really close. Okay, and then what? What about the the opposite side do you just do the same radius there then and get it up close you would absolutely yeah, you'd have no problem okay, with an eighth of an inch margin on, the, on either side oh well that that would be fine that's fine okay so your thoughts on this uh spring pit pit well, yeah, bombers been. I I literally have a bomber catalog in my hand from 1947, and <laughs> I can tell you that these are on page 14. Um, sure, the designs changed okay. a little bit, but um, you know, my grand my great grandparents' home was built about 1943, and when I was really hanging around in the late 80s or mid late late 80s with them, sure. um, mm-hmm. yeah, that door worked like the day they put it in. Okay, with with that hard hard hardware. Okay. Yeah. So you, what is you, what is the? Go ahead. You just get, you don't use the L one. Use the seventy eight fourteen HD. Yeah, seventy. That's so what I got wrote down. Seventy eight fourteen HD, and then what is the code for the one that's primed? Dash six zero zero. Six zero zero. Yes, sir. Seventy eight fourteen HD dash six zero zero. Yes, sir. On the money. Okay. And how long do those take to route to me, Illinois? Uh, What part of Illinois are you in? Uh, West Central, or west as you can go. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Do they they ship out of Illinois, or? No, I just ask because I'm from Illinois. Um, Uh, I spent a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I spent a lot of time going to a town called Kewanee. Um, Is it still the 309 area code where you are? No, no. Okay. Like I said, I'm halfway. I'm uh, directly west of Springfield. Oh yeah, I right got it. it. Yeah, right along the Mississippi. Yeah. Um, you guys were pummeled this year with weather. There's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. We had some floods. It came up. Floods, cold, the whole nine yards. Cold. It was shitty. <laughs> Sorry it was. About my life. It was. It was just. We got a nice day today. Uh, that might be the third one this year. <laughs> Yeah, the summer is going to be, it's going to feel like it was only two or three weeks long, and you're going to be back to staring at Halloween. And um, I've lived through four of the five worst snowstorms in the history of Chicago. I can tell you that there is is something positive to living in Illinois with winter, that none of it, all of it combined, does not equal a hurricane. And my my (laughs) welcome mat to moving to, my welcome mat to moving to Florida, Five weeks after I got here was Irma. The floor. <laughs> Irma. Okay. But the cold is brutal. So the answer to your question is Bomber shows it's in stock, so allow about a week. Okay. All right. And then you want me to just do it online here? 
No, I mean, well, you can, but on the phones, it's easier to to uh, to process Good. an order. Good, I'm ready. Okay, stand by one this moment. Thing going. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.